Hi, I'm Jason Bryant. I'm going to demonstrate what I do when I cut myself and just really don't like going to the doctor or don't want to pay the doctor to do what I can do myself. So, watch. The first thing to do is to stop the bleeding. So, use whatever's handy. It's always nice to have a good roll of uh, electrical tape or duct tape handy. So, that's what I used. Just uh, throw on some type of absorbent material, some tape, stop the bleeding. So let's start off with getting things off and see what this actually looks like. I just saw blood at the beginning and figured it didn't need much looking. I needed to finish what I was doing, so use some tape. Ah, not too bad. Got it. Need to do rinse it out good. This is gonna sting a little bit, but you've cut your leg. You should be expecting some sting. Yeah, that's pretty nice and wide. If you let it sit a bit, you probably want to open it up so you can get it good and rinsed out. You don't want to leave any trash in. You leave trash, you just just expect on getting infection. You don't want infection. So good irrigation is key at this point. I like throwing a little alcohol on. It's going to burn, but brings it out. Getting it irrigated out very well. Doesn't look like there's any trash. It was a pretty clean cut, cut at the time. Then I like putting in a little bit of hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide as well. And I don't know if you can see that on the video, but it'll foam up and clean out. Do the last little bit of cleaning, make sure things are nice and clean. In my professionally unprofessional opinion, I think it's good getting it back to bleeding a little bit. Getting the blood to run and clear things out a little bit. There the bleeding settled down. So what I've done, gone to a local little dollar general store and for a couple of dollars picked up a whole pack of a whole bunch of sewing needles. Went to a local hardware store picked up some fishing line it's got six six pound test that'll be nice and small but plenty strong enough so I think it's good take your couple of sewing needles going to use here sewing needles are a little bit difficult because they're brittle and they're not bent so you'll see I have to kind of wiggle around a little bit I've taken a Little jar lid. Gonna put those in there. Put some alcohol in it to sanitize my needles. Get some fishing line. Shouldn't take much line, not long. Wipe that off. Alright. I'm going to roll up the fishing line so I can get it in my little container of alcohol as well. So I'm going to take that, dip that in. I'll call that sterile. Who knows? Doctor may have said that's not sterile. Of course, I'm not a doctor, am I? So call that Jason Bryant still sterile. All right. Time to start stitching up. There. And I did wash my hands before.
coming on the video. So, thread the needle. Now it's probably just going to get boring. But, it's just sticking a few stitches. I did actually do this earlier in the summer, and that was the first time, and I was like, oh man, I should have videoed that. So, I'm going to cut it today, but hey, guess I'll video it this time. So, anyway, somebody asked me, does, I guess it doesn't hurt because it's cut. No, it's going to hurt, but what's the point? You know, a little bit of pain. The difficulty, getting it through the skin is surprisingly difficult. It's a fair amount of force to get that needle to jab through there. Someone has recommended you could take ice, chill it, and numb it. Let's say just start jabbing holes. So you take it, pinch it up. Like I said, this is where the sewing needle is a little more challenging. Just sit, press hard, get to where you're coming out, right, press hard, right, like I said, takes a fair amount of force, as I said, good force, there we go. Come through. That. Line out. Take another pop to get the string to come through. There we go. String is through there. Probably best to not let your line drop on the ground, but well, I'll try to say I'm a mountain man, right? Let's run this head off again. Leading down. Seems to me just most any good knot will work. So I'll just tie it off. Not to go over snug, but just over tight, just nice and snug. Again, we got it zoomed in so a little closer up so you can see. So I'll show you what I'm doing for sanitizing. Taking the fishing line, kind of rolling it up, put it back in the alcohol. And as I said, I'm not a doctor, so I'm going to call this sanitary. It's field work, man. It's field sanitary. So that's got our string sanitized again. Get our needle out. And I'll be back in a minute, give it a little more close up view of a stitch. All right. I'll zoom it in. Next time I'll zoom it in another notch and uh, so you can see a little bit closer the stitch. Again, they're not too bad of a cut. You don't have to get them too close together. Again, I say once you get ready to go, get it pinched up like you want it, just push hard. So it's not going to get any less stinging through. So you can get it through a little bit. There we go. Got it through a little better that time. Just set in and push. And that is stitch number two. Go back in the alcohol. And snip our ends. Cut out some of the 
sterilizing and cleaning. I've seen it once, how many times you need to see it? So, trying to zoom in here a little closer. Look for stitch number three. Right out of the way, get my hands out of the way. See if you can see here. So, I like to take it, get things pinched up. And then, there we go, get it set right, and then just push. See, overall, the quicker you can get it through, the better. back in our alcohol and tie the stitch off. So you can see there, nothing too complicated. Get down good and snug. Hold. Tension on it. Like what you might not see there is like once I get that loop, I'll pull it down so my stitch will actually hold good and snug. And there, tie it off. Good and tight. Scissors. No, honestly, it doesn't really hurt that bad in my opinion. It's just like sticking a needle through your skin, that's all. Stitch number five and this should do it. The little slice closed up. So they're getting tight, so I'll just shove it in on the one side and then turn it up to get it through the other side. And through we go. Tie off. Snug. Five stitches. Nice and easy. All right, got it all stitched up. Clean this thing up a little more and that should do it. That should be about all the bleeding. Grab a little more of the alcohol that I use to sanitize. bad stuff out. And finish off with just a little more hydrogen peroxide. Get a little sizzle. But really get it cleaned out. Nice and clean. Looks like I'm finished just in time as it starts to rain, but that's how I take care of my cuts. With the fishing line and the sewing needles, that was the only things I had to go to the store to get, and those were, I believe, right around nine dollars. way I look at it, a whole lot cheaper than a visit to the ER or urgent care or anyone else who would have fixed it. And I think I fix it just as good as they do. So that's how I take care of my cuts.